the subsequent experience of the spirit. Uh, I mean, lots of new religious movements over time, including in the first century, but none that uh, claimed the kind of miracles that we see in early Christianity. I mean, it, it was it was still going on. And Ramsey McMullen, a Yale historian, actually was disturbed to discover this, but he he reports that in like the 300s and 400s, the leading con- cause of conversion to Christianity in the sources was healing and exorcism. So these things are were still going on. Um, and especially in areas of groundbreaking evangelism, there are dramatic signs still still occur. Yes, um, and this is totally against what uh, a strange fire in, in John MacArthur in his book claims that that the miracles stop and, and we're talking about the 200s and the 300s and i have another book uh by keith keith some, some, something like that um, that he uh, documents that the miracles were going into the even the the fourth century i mean uh yeah strange strange fire the i mean he's right to attack certain things and and so i want to credit him for that mm-hmm. the problem mm-hmm. is when you associate everything together it's guilt by association it's a it's a if somebody does it on purpose it's considered an unethical persuasion technique i don't think he does it on purpose but it's like okay well if if these things are false then all charismatics and pentecostals are are demonic or whatever well that's the same argument that some people who are uh, against the christian faith use if these things are false, then all of Christianity is false. Or some things that are against religion in general we use. Well, if these things are false, then all of religion is false. Uh, it's it's mm. not it's not a sound technique. It, it, you need a lot more nuance and <laughs> thinking through things carefully. In in the in the New Testament, there's no expectation that these things will cease. In fact, you had these things happening coming and going some some periods more than others but you have these things all through the bible and and no expectation that things would cease the the passage that was sometimes used for saying these things would cease especially was first corinthians 13 but actually what it says is that uh prophecy and tongues and knowledge which most cessationists claim still happens knowledge but mm-hmm. that these well I mean, you know how, how else can they teach <laughs> Um, prophecy, tongues, knowledge, which would include teaching, that these things will pass away when we see them face to face. Now, that hasn't happened yet. You, when they try to say that that's the Bible, almost all, all biblical scholars say that's not what that's talking about. And, and so until Jesus comes back, we still need these gifts that are in part until we have the fullness of, when we don't need our partial knowledge anymore because we know even as we are known. Um, and and 1 Corinthians chapter 1, even, around verse 7, talks about uh, having having the, the gifts flourishing until the coming of the Lord. Um, in Revelation, you still see uh, miracles happening, signs and wonders happening. In James chapter 5, it talks about praying for the sick. In terms of the gifts of the Spirit, I mean, we're one body, and and we need the gifts to build up the body. So who made up the rule that some of these gifts had to have passed away and some have to remain? Who made up the rule that teaching, because we think we can do it without the Holy Spirit, remains, whereas healing can't remain because we know we need the Holy Spirit for that? I mean, who made up that rule? There's nothing like that in the lists. Well, they say, well, the reason we have to have those things cease is because certain things like prophecy would require uh, us to have post-biblical doctrine. Well, what about the gift of teaching? (laughs) Mm. Uh, I mean, does that require post-biblical doctrine? Prophecy was going on all through the the period in which the New Testament was being written. And so how can you say that therefore uh, you can't have canonical revelation at the same time that you have the other thing? You want to talk about a post-biblical doctrine, about something that uh, actually isn't mentioned in the Bible, but is now widely taught? Cessationism. <laughs> yes. It's, 
post-biblical doctrine.